guys, this is Carrie with Glitzy Glam, and I have a Dollar Tree video for you today, just like I do every Tuesday. So let me start today with um, the things that I found on the Ed Carey location in Harlingen, Texas, and hopefully your Dollar Tree has these items as well. I went to two Dollar Trees, so... I'm going to show you the Ed Carey location first. This is what I found today. I found these little scarecrows. I thought I might, oh, let me scoot over here. Maybe these little scarecrows would look cute on a wreath. A fall wreath so I bought those this is something that Dollar Tree I have never seen at Dollar Tree before the uh, there's one two three of these r rings um, they're called brass wreath rings these Floral stickers. I thought these were pretty. I bought the uh, wooden signs, a nut, uh, acorn sign, the fall leaf sign, and the pumpkin sign. And I couldn't resist. This was the only one they had left, and it was the blue vinyl. I need to use this so that I can tell you how, whether or not it's, uh, what quality is, if it's good or, or not good. Um, but I bought some more of that. All right. Uh... Now, these items I bought at the Peter Piper location on 77 in Harlingen, Texas. The galvanized pumpkin. I thought that was really nice. Some white pumpkin picks. I did buy a juicer. Bought this for my mom, she loves purple. Now this is something I've never seen at Dollar Tree ever. Uh, here recently I've started seeing t-shirts, maybe they had them in the past and I never paid attention, but some onesies. This is a black onesie and a gray onesie. And some more white pumpkins. And then I bought another one of these. I couldn't resist. I have salsa in um, one for my lunch box. And I thought one for ranch dressing or something else. Okay. Now, this is the last item I bought. And hopefully these work out. Of course, you'll see if they work or not. And you'll see if they don't work, you'll see what I use instead. But... This weekend, I bought an upright freezer, and I'll tell you why. I had a small chest freezer that I bought many years ago from Sam's Club. I've had it for years, but it's still in great working condition. But with this pandemic, I have a menu plan that I use every single week. I make the same type of breakfast every Saturday and Sunday, and that is our favorite meal, so I love our breakfast. And on my menu plan, we do eat a lot of chicken. What we've run out a lot of at Sam's Club is chicken wings, and I have Wing Wednesday every Wednesday. I do change up the flavors. Sometimes it's hot wings, sometimes it's lemon pepper, um, but that's what we have on Wednesdays. Now, also, 
Sometimes we run out of the frozen biscuits, the Pillsbury frozen biscuits that I use for breakfast. Sometimes we're out of breakfast sausage and sometimes we're out of bacon. That's just the way things go lately with this um, pandemic. You just never know when we're gonna run out of meat items. So I wanted an upright freezer so that I could have just a little extra space so when I buy two packages of frozen biscuits, I have room, two packages of wings, I have room, etc. Now, I'm not looking to, you know, stock up on a lot, but what I do is I take all my chicken thighs and all my chicken tenders, I divide them all out into bags, and I have my unseasoned chicken so that I can create whatever meal I want with it without having to worry. And then I have the um, nothing but the bagel season or everything in the bagel. I don't remember the seasoning's exact name. I think it's everything and the bagel or something seasoning anyway. I use that on some chicken and then I have um, garlic rosemary chicken and I have it pre-seasoned and I divide all of that up into bags. Um, but anyway, the last items I bought because I bought a new freezer and we'll see how it all fits, I bought some of these bins. Now, one, I like them because I think they're going to fit the whole shelf, so they're going to utilize every single bit of shelf space. They have a hole so that uh, there's airflow, and I want to stand up all my frozen packages in here and put in my freezer. So I did buy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not sure how many are fit. But I still have the green totes with the handles. I still have all my food divided out into those in this color. So even if we have to still use some of the bins with the handles in combination with this, it's all gonna it's all gonna work. And if these don't work, hopefully I can find some white bins that fit a little bit better. Uh, I did on my last haul buy some blue ones for the um, for the um, chest freezer. They did not work at all, so I still have those bins, and I'm not sure. I should have asked if they would let me trade those for these, but I did not do that. Um, so. That is what I bought at Dollar Tree, and I am super excited about the fall stuff that is coming, and the only reason I know what those items are is from other people's Dollar Tree hauls. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy my videos. Come back for the next video because I do have some craft videos, and then, of course, uh, the next video is going to be how I organize my freezer. My side-by-side -side freezer in my uh, kitchen. I'm going to show you that because that determines how I organize my freezer. So stay tuned for that and I will see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.